What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys another episode of our MLB The Show franchise. This is the Man Bear Puig League. That's what we're calling it. So I hope you guys enjoyed episode one. This is number two, and today we are playing again against the Miami Marlins here in Miami. And here are the pitchers for today's game. We have Franklin Morales up against Nathan Evaldi, I think is how you pronounce it, Evaldi. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm not a big baseball guy. But again, I am still having fun playing the game, so hopefully uh, it continues, who knows though. So getting things started early in this one, bottom of the first inning, they get a single, but we were able to get out of the inning as we force this pop fly here to the second baseman. Now we're up here in the second inning, top of the second, it's Carlos Gonzalez, none on, none out, 0-0 count, and Cargo is going to smash this thing to deep right field. It gets past Mike Stanton, who dives onto the ground. Excuse me, John Carlos Stanton. I don't know what the hell he wants to be called these days. But we get the, in there at second base for a double. Carlos Gonzalez on second base. A very good situation here with none out. Next batter up, it's Justin Morneau, and he is going to smack one up the middle. However, I decided not to run Cargo to home because I didn't want him to get thrown out. I figured men on the corners here with none out was a good situation. And it was. As two batters later, Jordan Pacheco smacks one up the middle here. A simple grounder. And that scores Carlos Gonzalez from third. And there was now one out with a man on first and second. And Josh Rutledge is going to actually line this one out here to center field. Now watch my base runners. My guy between first and second would not go back to first base. I was trying to tag up and for some reason he absolutely refused. We get end up getting two outs there and that did it for the inning. That cost us what could have been much more on offense and that led to them getting back up. They single here and now with zero out here is Gerald Saltilamaki and he is gonna smack one out for another single. Men on first and second now with one out and Franklin Morales gets the strikeout, a huge K there. That saved us what could have been a disastrous inning. Another strikeout, beautiful, beautiful work there by Morales to get out of that inning. Next inning, bottom of the fourth, and a 74 mile per hour curveball gets another strikeout. Morales is doing very, very well for himself in this one, and he's actually gonna help himself out here. It's an 0-1 count, and he is gonna smack one out into the gap between the center fielder and right fielder, and he gets on for a single, then actually decides to stretch it out for a double. We get in there with no tag. Beautiful work there by Morales. He is now on second base here with one out, and Charlie Blackman comes up big here. The leadoff hitter hits one out into center field, and this could have been a run, but for some reason, Morales decided that he was gonna stop at third base. I was telling him to round third, and he refused. More base running errors by my team. Team and, and there's just nothing that I can do about it. Next inning, they do get a double here and score a man from second. Disaster. Disaster. There's no question about it. I absolutely should have at least one more run at this point in the game, but it's a tie game that's just, you know, it's just the way that it is. MLB The Show 14 for some reason. The base running is just god awful, but Morales is going to continue to work his ways here with the strikeouts. And then. Look at this, Ozuna's up to bat and he hits an easy liner and for some reason, Michael Kadir just would not get under that. He was slowing down, he wasn't going to the ball. That went down as an error, but it put a man on first base. Next batter up and he's gonna try and steal second, but we throw him out. Epic. I haven't thrown anybody out. That's why I had to actually put this clip in. Like I said, I, I literally hadn't thrown out anybody in this entire game until that point. And Morales just continued to get strikeouts. He was a beast for me in this one. He allowed the occasional hit, but man, he really did absolutely everything he could have. Top of the seventh here, and Josh Rutledge is gonna get a man over to third. Just about an amazing play there by the shortstop, but he wasn't quite able to make the throw. Now with men on the corners here, we are going to line out. Ugh, that sucks so bad because we had the opportunity there to take the lead again and it just didn't happen. Bottom of the seventh now with a man on first. They get a blooping single over the first baseman's head and it, that led to a man on first and second with two out, but we get out of it with a ground ball. Again, avoiding what could have been disaster. 
And uh, we get out of that inning with without any damage done. It's still one to one here. Troy Tulowitzki's up now in the eighth, and he is going to single out to center field. That puts a man on. And Justin Morneau is now up with two out, and he is going to smash this one over the center fielder's head. It goes all the way to the wall, but look at Tulo. He stopped at second base, and that cost us. And he stopped at third base as well, because this should have been an easy, easy run scored. But the base running is just freaking broken in this game. Look at that. 11 hits, and I had one run scored. Bottom of the ninth now. Gerald Saltolamaki is up. We hit the target. Yeah. Ah! Yep, that just you happened, guys. Oh, yep. I hate you. I hate you. Stop Gerald Saltilamakia with a walk-off home run for the Marlins after just freaking ridiculous base running. Cost me run after run after run. This game is just the most scripted BS that I've ever seen in my entire life. I hate it. I'm so pissed. I mean... Like, I, I really am trying to enjoy this game because I had so much fun playing the previous MLB The Show games. But this one is just broken. The base running is obnoxiously shit. You can't put on auto base running when you're playing in the online franchise modes either. So, no matter what you do, unless somebody can tell me how to base run and make your guys actually go when you tell them to, I, I don't understand what I can do. I really don't. So, I'm quite upset about it. We'll see what I can do. I, I mean, I've been told that you can change it to a classic base running style. And uh, we'll see if that fixes anything going forward. But I just know there's so many glitches in this game and it's so frustrating. But either way, I, I still had fun even though I lost this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.